to your yoga practice. Um, so today is going to be mostly standing poses and a standing practice for any of those times when your arms are just not something you'll want to be working with on the day or if for some reason your wrists are bothering you or you don't want to be in tabletop or foot pressure on the arms and wrists at all. So we're going to do mostly standing poses and starting at the standing at the top of your mat. So you don't really need props um, because it's mostly standing. If you want to have a blanket for when we come back down to the floor, feel free to have that close by. Or I always have two blocks and a blanket just in case I change my mind later. But you can start standing at the top of your mat. And just wiggling the feet around a bit, rocking front and back. Notice BC so you can have a better view. Rocking back and forth, lift your toes, spread them nice and wide, and then place each toe down on the ground. And then stretch back through your heels. You're creating as much surface area down into the feet as possible. From there, inhale, arms stretch tall, and then reach through one arm some more, and then the other. Oh, just get as long as you can, stretch up, and then the other. Exhale, the arms just flop down. Inhale, reach up tall, stretch up your fingers. Exhale, arms flop. One more time like that, reach tall. And let the arms flop. Then starting at the head, drop the chin towards chest and roll the head side to side, working into the neck a bit. Just spending some time circling and moving through all the joints at first to warm up through the joints in the body, getting the synovial fluid nice and lubricated through the joints. Just noticing how your neck is feeling here, if there's any tight spots or sticky spots as you move the head in a semicircular mo motion, relaxing the shoulders down. Next time the chin comes towards chest, pause there. Inhale and take the gaze up. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, chin to chest. One more time, gaze up. And chin to chest. Bring the head back center and then turn side to side. Just moving the neck in all sorts of ways. I'm not saying what spots feel tight or tense, if any. And then come back to center. We begin to take some big circles with the shoulders. And as you go through the shoulders, you can even let the rest of the body get into it. Bending the knees, exaggerated shoulder rolls back, and then take a couple forward as well. And then go back again. Because it's the shoulders rolling back that we don't get to most of our day. There's a lot of schlumping that is possible. But getting the shoulders to roll back is what we care more about. And then start to swim your arms forward. And swim the arms back. And circle through the elbows. Just get some movement through elbows. One way and the other. Circle through the wrists. And change the direction. Then take the arms straight out and turn the fingers up and down a couple times. Stretching the muscles and the forearms as you point the fingers up and down. And then just move through the fingers. Make sure they're awake, get some movement as well. And then shake the arms out. Shake the legs out. Moving into the rib cage, take some circles through the rib cage. 
Then if you can keep your legs nice and steady as you circle through the ribs. And if the ribs don't know how to circle today, you can start with hands on the hips and go side to side. And see what range of motion you have in the ribs and the spine. And then take it front and back. And then maybe some circles happen, maybe some wiggles happen. And then release. Take some big circles through the hips all the way around. Oh, feel it in the low back, just stretching out. And then switch direction, circle the other way. Warming up through the hips, getting a little bit more lubrication through the hip joints, hip sockets. And then moving down to your knees, bring the feet together, bend the knees, hands come to the knees, and circle the knees around. And change the direction, circle the other way. And then coming back up, come to the tippy toes of one foot, circle the ankle around. Change the direction. Just warming up through the whole body from head to toes. You can also start down at your toes and go up to your head if you like that better. Lift the foot up, point and flex, circle around, testing a little balance. Then shape the leg out and change sides, come to the tippy toes, circle around through the ankle. Taking it one way and then the other. And then lift the leg up, point and flex, move through the foot and the toes, shake the leg out, and place it down, shake both legs out, shake the arms, the hips, the shoulders, the head. Feet are wider than hip distance, arms come out nice and wide, and then do a little test run to make sure you're not about to whack a wall or a piece of furniture, and start to let the arms flop side to side. Make some twisting into the spine here. And the feet can stay down if you want a smaller twist, or you can start to let your heels lift if you'd like to go a little twistier in your twist. Just let the arms be nice and floppy, relaxing the shoulders. So this is a really nice one to do if you've been sitting at your computer or just sitting for a while to just get up, get some twists going, stretching and straightening out all the little um, spinal nerves along the spinal column or down the spine. And then start to slow the movement down. Let it find its own stopping point. And then the eyes can close or you can just bring the gaze towards the floor. You can feel that tingling in the fingers, the arms, as the energy swirls and settles. Taking a deep breath in and side out. And then opening the eyes, walking your feet a little closer together. Inhale, arms reach high. Then taking a little bend to your knees, come halfway forward. And then as you inhale, come up and take it back a little bit. Heart reaches up towards the sky, gaze up. Exhale, come halfway forward. Inhale, come up, heart lifts up, gaze up. If there's any discomfort in the spine here, you've gone too far. Exhale, forward. 
Inhale, come up. So just going to a point where you feel a little stretch to the front body, not to a point where your back is unhappy. Exhale, forward. Inhale, up. And again, come forward. And up. Last time, come forward. And up. And then neutral arms come down, roll through the shoulders again. And start to take it side to side, letting one arm get heavy as the other arm reaches up towards your armpit. And then switch. And take it side to side. So we're getting into all the different movements of the spine. First twisting through it, taking it front and back. And now going lateral side to side. Just warming up through the whole torso, letting the head gently flop as you take this side to side, opening up through the sides of the ribs, gaining a little bit more movement through the back body as well. One more time, either side. And then come up. Inhale, arms stretch tall. Exhale, out and down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, out and down. Bring one hand to heart center, one hand to belly. Letting the eyes close or just taking the gaze down to the floor. Inviting a deep breath in. And sighing it out. And turning the attention inward now, having done a little bit of movement, a little warm up, how does everything feel? Scanning through the physical body, scanning through the mental body, what's the activity in the mind like today? Noticing your energy level. And as you scan through these layers, can you do it from a place of a non-objective observer? I think that's the word I'm going for today. So you don't want to have any critique, any analysis. No judgment as you scan through the different layers and then come back to the breath. So two more big breaths in here. Feel the breath moving beneath your hands. One more deep breath in and let it go. Release the hands down, gently blink the eyes open. And I'm getting a little warm here, so it's time to strip a layer. All right, then standing at the top of your mat, hands on the hips, step your right foot way back. Finding your high lunge here with the feet hip distance apart or a little wider if you need more stability. All toes are facing forward. You're balancing on the ball of that back foot. And then bend the front knee, making sure the knee isn't going past your ankle. Turn the hips to face forward, ribs, shoulders to face forward. And then roll the shoulders back, hugging the shoulder blades towards each other slightly to broaden across your collarbones. And then start to bend your back knee and straighten it. So front leg stays as it is, back knee bends and straightens, bends and straightens. Two more times like that. So just feeling into the front of the back hip as you bend and straighten. Last time, bend and straighten. Inhale the arms up, bend the elbows out wide into cactus arms or goal post arms and again, you're hugging those shoulder blades back, staying broad across the collarbones. Fingers are nice and bright, stretching up towards the sky. As you inhale, front leg straightens, arms reach tall. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach tall. And bend. And reach tall. And bend. One more time, reach tall. And then bring the arms out in front of you. Nice big circle, relax the shoulders down. 
scooping up all the sweet corn that's out now. And start to twist it to the left towards that bent knee, over to the side. Inhale back to center. Exhale again, twist left. And center. One more time, twist left. And center. Gently place all that sweet corn down. Inhale the arms up. Tip yourself 45 degree. Pause there. Feel that strength in the legs. That left hip, left glute is really working. Bring the hands to the hips. Bend your back knee. Hop that foot in. Ooh, feel those legs. Do a little wiggle if you need to. Some hip circles. Your morning legs. And then bringing the hands back to the hips and step your left foot way back. Finding that high lunge again, hip distance or wider apart with the feet. All toes facing forward, bend the front knee. And again, making sure it's not going past your ankle. Hips, ribs, shoulders pointing towards the front of your mat. And then starting by bending that back knee and straighten. Front leg stays still, just working that back leg. Bend the knee and straighten. Bend and straighten. One more time, bend and straighten. Inhale, arms high. Bend the elbows wide, cactus arms. Hug those shoulders back, broad across the collarbones. Nice, bright, alert fingers. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach tall. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach tall. And bend. Inhale, reach tall. And bend. Last time, stretch tall. And bend. And then bring the arms out again, scooping up all the blueberries. Relax the shoulders. Those are some heavy, juicy blueberries you're holding. Twist it to the right towards that bent knee. Inhale back to center. Exhale again to the right. And center. One more time to the right. And center. Gently place your blueberries down. Arms sweep out and up, stretch tall. Exhale to that 45 degree angle again. Pressing out through your back heel, reach through the fingers. Super, super strong legs. Feeling it in that right hip and glute for sure. Hands come back to the hips. Bend the back knee, hop the foot in. And give it a little wiggle. And circle through hips. Inhale, arms out and up, stretch tall. Exhale, swan dive over your legs, bending the knees as much as you need to so the torso can really release here. Arms are heavy, shoulders soft, head heavy. And shake the head, yes, yes, yes. And no, no, no. And just hanging here, feeling that length through the torso. Pausing for a moment. And as you inhale, start to come halfway up, sliding the hands up the legs, creating a tabletop in the spine. Exhale, fold. Do that two more times. Inhale, coming halfway up. Hips pull back. Crown of the head reaches out in front of you. And fold. Last time, come halfway up. And fold. Bend the knees, roll all the way up. Take your time to get there. When you reach the top, roll the shoulders up, back and down a couple of times. Right leg steps way back and then open up to the right side of your mat, adjusting your feet so the toes are straight forward, heels straight back. Arms sweep out wide. Stretch through fingers as you hug the shoulders back in towards each other on the back body. Staying broad again across the collarbones. 
Heels turn in, toes turn out, bend the knees, bend the elbows, Devyasana Goddess Pose. And then playing around here a bit, rocking side to side, just feeling into your ankles, your knees, your hips. Nice and long through the tailbone. Tailbone draws down as the belly draws in and up for support. Then finding that middle, pressing down for your big toes, pinky toes, center of the heels. As you breathe in, straighten the legs, reach tall. Exhale, bend again. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, bend. And reach tall. And bend. Bring the hands to rest on the legs, pressing the knees out wide. Pressing out through your right knee, drop your right shoulder to center. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop left. And up. And drop right. And up. And drop left. One more time to each side, dropping the right. And up. And left. And up. Release the hands from the knees. Have them frame the face again. Inhale, legs straighten. Arms reach tall. Turn your feet back through center. And then bring the hands to your low back. And then press your hips forward with the hands. Heart lifts up. Open through the front body. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Slide the hands down the legs. Bringing the hands to either the floor or your blocks. Relax the head. Shift it side to side. Bend into one knee and then the other. Getting a little more stretch through the inner seams of the legs. And then pause and center. Bend the knees and roll on up again. Take your time to get there. When you reach the top, sweep the arms wide again. Turn your left toes in, right toes out to the back of your mat. Bend the right knee, finding your warrior two here, Virabhadrasana two. Notice if you feel really heavy in that front leg, if you're leaning forward, can you take it back a bit? Stretch back through your left fingertips. Coming more upright and strong in both legs. Inhale, legs straighten, arms reach tall. Exhale, bend, gazing out over your right fingertips. Inhale, straighten, reach tall. Exhale, bend. One more time, straighten, reach tall. And bend. So you inhale, take the left hand back, the left leg, sliding it down the leg as the right arm comes up and back in your peaceful warrior. Relax the neck and shoulders, nice and strong legs, opening up through your right ribs here. Keep the torso as, you, as it is, as you begin to slowly straighten your front leg, reaching back through your right arm, Inhale, up. And then coming down the other way, right hand to the right leg, left arm reaches high. If you'd like no weight in that front arm, you can also hover it in front of the leg, which will use more core strength. So either support it on the leg or hovering in front, stretch from wrist to wrist, pull the hips back, reach the crown of the head out past your right toes in your triangle pose. Gaze going in whatever direction feels best for your neck and shoulders. Take another deep breath here. Let it go. Strong in the legs, hug the muscles to the bones. Use your core strength as on your next inhale you come back up. Turn your feet forward, bring the hands to the hips and roll through shoulders, relax through the neck. Move the head around if that feels good. Little break before your second side. Sweep the arms wide. Right toes turn in, left toes out. 
lining up that front heel with the back arch, bend your left knee, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. And again, if you feel really heavy in that front leg, probably means you're stretching forward a little too much. Reach back through your right hand. Get a little more even over both legs. As you inhale, straighten the legs, reach your arms high to the sky. Exhale, bend, arms come wide. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, bend. And reach tall. And bend. Pause there. Turn the left palm to face up. Right hand slides down the right leg as you open up through your left side, left arm reaching up and back in your peaceful warrior. Deep breath in and out, feel that opening through your left waist. Torso stays as it is, slowly straighten your front leg. Then inhale back up. Take it the other way, left hand either coming down to rest on the leg or hover in front of it. Right arm reaches up high to the sky. Strong legs, stretch from wrist to wrist, hips pulling back to the right, crown of the head reaching out past your left toes. And then taking your gaze in whatever direction feels best for your neck, I like looking down at the front foot. Breathing deeply here. Take a deep breath in. Side out. <sighs> Strong legs have the muscles hug the bones. Use your core strength as you inhale and come up again. Turn your feet forward. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, hands to the floor or blocks, or you can just have fingertips down for a little support. Let your head release, shaking it yes and no. Shift a bit side to side. And pause and center. Heel toe your feet towards each other. And then inhale, come halfway up, slide the hands up the legs. Exhale, fold. Left hand to the right leg, right arm sweeps out and up, twist to the right. Exhale, come down. Switch the hold, right hand to the left leg, left arm sweeps high, twist. Exhale, fold. One more time, hold your right leg with the left arm, right arm up, twist, and release. Inhale, twist to the left, left arm high, and release. Let go of the arm, shake out the head. Bend the knees some more, turn to face the front of your mat again. Bending the knees more and more and more, coming to a little squat, and then gently lowering down onto your seat. Come all the way onto the back. Hug the knees in towards you. Ah, oh, just feel how nice it is to be down on the floor. Rock a bit side to side. So good. Relax the shoulders, let your head be nice and heavy. Keeping the knees together, circle them in one direction. And then switch it. So it's changing where the pressure is of the back into the floor. And then take the knees wide apart, circling away from each other, getting into your hips a little bit more. One way and then the other. Pause and center. Hug your right leg in as you extend your left leg long. Relax the shoulders. Hands come behind the leg, interlacing or just hold the leg. Inhale, the foot reaches high. Exhale, bend it in. Inhale, leg high and bend it in. One more time, leg high and bend it in. Inhale, the leg up and then play with your foot. Circle one way and the other. Keeping your leg high, you can have a 
much of a bend as you need here. Bring your arms out wide, turning the palms to face down, pressing into the floor for a little extra support. And then start to cross your leg to the left, any amount until you start to feel that zing down the outer, the outer strip of your leg into your hip, maybe into the knee, back of the knee as well. Stretching, opening up through the outer seam of the leg. Stretching out the IT band, which can be super tight on some of us. Breathe deeply, see if you can relax through the jaw, ah, rah, rah, rah. the tongue, these places that tension can creep into. Then inhale the leg up and slowly lower it down. Turn your toes in and out. Relax the legs. Stretch the arms overhead as you reach out through the toes. Big breath in, stretch. You exhale, arms come out and down, hug your left leg in. Relax the shoulders. And then interlacing the hands behind the knee or just holding onto the leg somewhere. As you breathe in, stretch the leg long. Exhale, draw it in. And reach long and draw it in. Reach long, draw it in. Last time extending it, play with the foot here. Circle one way and the other, point and flex. Keep the leg lifted as you bring the arms out wide again, palms down. Nice strong foot, flex through the foot, spread your toes, and start to take it over to the right. Going to that point where you start to feel that zing down the outer strip of the leg. Breathe there. And sometimes it's not about going to your ultimate edge here. So like I could bring my leg down more. That doesn't really do any more in terms of the stretch down the outer seam of the leg. So I get as much at a less of an angle with my hips still down for the most part. So I just go to that point. Relax the jaw. Ha, ra, ra. Inhale the leg up. And then slowly lower down. Sweep the arms overhead again. Stretch from fingers to toes. Give them a little wiggle. As you breathe in, stretch a little further in both directions. Exhale the arms out and down. Hug your knees in towards you again. Rock a bit side to side. Turning the head a bit side to side, relax with the neck. Pause in center. Bring the arms out again, this time having the palms facing up. Nestle the shoulder blades down the back. Knees come over to the left, either landing on the floor or a block or blanket or pillow if you want a gentler twist with the legs higher up. Otherwise, coming down to the ground. And as the legs come over to the left, encourage your right arm to stay nice and heavy towards the floor. Start to settle it into this shape. Playing with the angle of your head, turning it a bit one way and the other. And then resting where the head and the neck feel most comfortable. Eyes can even close as you slow things down here. Relax, release into this twist. Feel the limbs get heavier as they sink towards the floor. Let the breath even out, get a little smoother, a little softer. Turn, bring the head back to center. Inhale, 
came over to the other side, falling to the floor on the right, or build the floor up with any props you have close by for a gentler twist. Relax the shoulders nice and heavy in the left arm, left shoulder especially. And again, take the head a bit side to side. What feels best in the neck on this side? It might be the same position, it might be different. Just test it out. And then give yourself some time to settle into this shape. Let gravity assist you here, drawing you down towards the ground and towards the center of the earth, feeling that gentle pull. Slow the breath down as you settle in. Taking one more deep breath here in your twist. And then bring the head back to center if you have it turned. Inhale, knees back to center. Give them a little hug again as you rock side to side. And then melting into your final posture of Shavasana, your final relaxation. So you can take this straight up with the arms out, legs down, no props required. You can also take this with any and all props, pillows, blankets you have close by, either a little pillow under the head, just making sure it doesn't tuck your head too much like this. So you still want your chin and your nose basically in line with each other, even if the head is propped. You can snuggle up to a couch or a chair and put the legs up like so, resting on your couch or chair. It's really nice for the low back to release doing it that way. And then if you feel chilly at all, which is a little exciting to feel chilly today after a hot, hot summer. So if you feel chilly, cover yourself with a blanket, grab a hoodie, whatever you've got. It's pretty challenging to relax if you feel cold. So just cover up if you feel a little chilly. And when you find your perfect resting spot, relax into it. Allow the eyes to close and take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Take another deep breath in and let it go. Let your whole body relax. Feeling the bones get heavier, the muscles letting go their grip on the bones, the skin softening its grip on the muscles. Giving yourself this time to rest and recharge. And taking a moment for yourself here.
you have the time, stay here for as long as you like. If you have to continue on with your day, I will lead you out. Start to bring attention back to the breath. And inviting your next inhale to be fuller, more energizing. And your exhale, soft and smooth. Bring any little movements back into the body that feel natural. It may start with a wiggling of fingers and toes. There may be a stretch calling your name. And then bend one knee and the other, bring the feet to the floor. Let the head gently flop side to side. And then turn on over to one side, pausing there with the knees drawn in. You can use the bottom arm as a pillow if that's comfortable. And in any way that feels sweet and supportive, start to help yourself back up to a comfortable seat. Taking your time to get there, eyes can stay closed or the gaze fuzzy, so your attention stays inside a little while longer. And as you find your seat, tune in. What does it feel like sitting here now, having gone through your practice? Has anything shifted or changed for you? Bring one hand to heart center, other hand stacks on top of it. Bowing the head towards hands and heart, thank yourself for showing up, for playing yoga, and giving yourself this gift of time on your mat. Inhale the head back up, and bow to the wonder and wisdom within you. Namaste. Thank you so much. I hope you had fun playing with me today, and I'll catch you again soon, hopefully. Bye.